Now, in this example, we've got a rifle that fires a bullet. Now, although the rifle might be quite long, the actual bullet is really small. In fact, if we uh, look down the, the muzzle of the rifle here, we can actually see the barrel is quite narrow, and that's because the bullet that's fired out is only about this big. So we're going to take the start point as when this bullet is moving through the air, and the end point is once the bullet has hit the target, it's embedded into the target and it's stopped. So that's going to be the end point. So initially it's moving, so the initial store of energy is in the kinetic store. It then hits the target, it stops dead. Where's the energy gone? Well, this isn't moving. It's, um, it's not raised up off the ground. So the energy is gonna be stored actually as thermal energy. So what's gonna happen is that uh, the bullet, as it deforms, it's gonna get hotter and it's gonna make the target slightly hotter as well. So the end store is gonna be the thermal store of the target and the bullet. And eventually, over time, that then is gonna dissipate to the surroundings and they're gonna heat up very, very slightly. What about the mechanism? Well, as this bullet is hitting the target, uh, in order to slow it down, there must be a force applied by the target. So there's a force acting over a small distance, and for that reason, this is once again a mechanical transfer. So we're starting with a kinetic store, we transfer by mechanical, and we end in the thermal store. Now for the next example below, what we need is one of these trolleys, and this is going to be accelerated by a constant force. 